Hello. So, hey, everyone, Terrell here, Big Gold Belt Media. Uh, we're here with Whitney, Luke, and Justin from the new movie, uh, Cell Phone. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's, it's, and there's also uh, Rachel Summers here. And Jared that Miss Rachel? <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry. And then, <laughs> and then Jared. Jared is an is a incoming addition. Jared Noble. Oh, no, he plays Liam. It, hey, it threw, Terrell. It threw me a curveball there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, so I'm going to start with this um, because I just want to say to to each and every one of you, because of the writing and the convincing acting in this movie, I no longer want to use my cell phone. Oh, I, I, I was, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, have done, you, you have done your jobs very, very, very well. Now, and I appreciate it. It was a really, really good movie. Um, Thank you. Uh, so I want to start off with the uh, with the writing and directing team first for, for this. Um this is this is a comeback from 2012 with the short film that involved uh, Justin at the time. Uh, what what made you uh, decide to this was the time to bring this back and, you know, bring it back into this, you know, it's a full theatrical capacity. Well, the, the first thing is, uh, unfortunately, Justin was not in that IMDb uh, for uh, whatever reason you. put him in what? there. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> but, we wish. We yeah, wish. we wish. You know, <laughs> Maybe he is. If we didn't know it. Yeah. Maybe he is. But um, yeah, no, we we made a short film. Yeah, back then, and um, we were we, we had actually been making a lot of comedy for years. We had been doing like sketch comedy on YouTube. We put out a video every week under Modern Human, and um, then we were kind of getting sick of that. So, um, excuse me. I uh, came up with an idea for you know, what if there's a monster in the phone? And then my sister said, well, that's kind of just okay. What if we add this time element where it shows the future? And so we went out and shot this short and then uh, along the way, got some interest for a feature and that led us on a journey to develop the feature film in which Rachel then started writing. I also think that like when you have a story um, that like, you feel like it really needs to be told and like you know as the writer I feel like I'm just a vessel for what the story is I think that it never goes away it just keeps knocking and like pounding and you you can't help but like pursue it and make it so you know like that's sort of why it's a long journey to the feature but it just wouldn't stop knocking to to tell this story what what was something that like I said, now that you you had a little bit more on on the page for this, something that you definitely wanted to show a little bit more um, that you didn't have originally wrote down when when you had this original script. Yeah, that's a good question. I think that it, with short films, there you can pack a lot into a short film as far as character development and story. But I think when you have, I guess it's a luxury to do an entire feature. Um, you can really delve into like the characters and like their personal like struggles and what they're trying to overcome and um i think you can tell you can show a bigger window of like what they're experiencing and so i think that's why i liked being able to delve into that further because the short is like especially with our short it was just one moment in time and this is like a moment in time but much longer it's good ass <laughs> uh to <laughs> To all my actors involved in the, in this wonderful film, uh, what was the, I guess the hardest part about like really tapping into like this the this emotional range that you had to hit? Because that's not what I was expecting when I when I went into this movie. I'm like, okay, I thought I was gonna get one thing, but I didn't think I was gonna get a entirely therapeutic story uh, at the end of it all too. So what what was something that was the hardest part? Like you know, tapping into to your roles. Um. For me personally, you know, I really tapped into my own experiences because I myself do struggle with my mental health and I celebrate my mental health and I have gone through, you know, I've had panic attacks and anxiety attacks and, and all of that jazz. <laughs> um, so I was a little afraid, you know, you know, how far can I tap in without, um, without harming myself and without really bringing myself into um, a place I don't really want to be. <laughs> and so that was, um, I feel like I was able to, to, to strike that, that balance, but that was definitely a concern of, 
of me and my therapist and my family when I got involved in in this film. But I'm so glad that I did. It's it's real close to home. Uh, Yeah. Justin, did you did you have anything on that one? Um. Yeah. uh, I think. uh, Luckily, my character isn't doing. I didn't have to go too deep uh, with Chris, which is uh, grateful because everyone else was truly carrying the emotional, pa- powerful weight of this film. Um, I think what I was mostly tapping into with Chris was this sort of disconnected heart um, about him. Like he, he has a lot of heart for everyone that he interacts with, but he still is like, building worlds based off of like one phrase, you know? Uh, There's a lot of moments where someone will say something and he'll say like, oh, that reminds me of this. And then this sounds like this. And this is about, and like building this entire uh, framework in his mind. Like he really does have a deep connection to the connections in life. um, And is always trying to express those in, in these very authentic and just, down to earth kind of plain um simply delivered ways yeah i i think you know like you said with with your character man you you definitely always want to have that neighbor but not neighbor have you know especially yeah. these type of movies come to check on you uh because that was definitely yeah. something i was just like uh there's no reason he should he you just keep popping up you just keep coming in yeah yeah you know, I'm, I'm, yeah <laughs> hey man like i'm going through a lot right now can you stop coming through but you you really Absolutely. push yourself in because you you your character sees like what what he needs to do or what she needs to be able to overcome the the fears that she's that she's been going through and like i said i know we were i, I know we were getting a techno thriller here but it wound up being yeah. something else entirely i was just like wait did i just get emotionally healed here in <laughs> this movie yeah you know yeah. i was like am i supposed to be scared or feel warm I, i'm very confused <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah absolutely uh, Awesome. I love that you had that response because honestly, I do think it's a different type of horror movie. So like, I feel like it can like appeal to different uh, fans of horror because it it has horror elements, but definitely has thriller elements. And then it definitely has this other like, you know, psychological thing going on. So yay, I'm glad that you felt that way. Yeah, I mean, it definitely got the point across. Um, Luke and Rachel, all to, you know, to Luke, to, you know, director, right? (laughs) Luke and Rachel, getting names right. you know, we're, we're, we're the genre of techno thriller. I, first time I've even seen it again, you know, IMDB has already misled me once today. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, what is, is this something that you think you're going to want to do more of? Like, cause I mean, it's such a simple concept that you can definitely expand more, you know, into this world. I mean, it could, def- you know, whether it just be this house or it could be, you know, other, other movies that you do later down the line. Um, that just really hit the, you know, the concept of this cell phone ghost or, you know, dealing with the PTSD and stuff like that. Yeah. Any, any plans of doing anything going forward? I, I think uh, we definitely have other, I mean, as far as cell phone, we definitely have other ideas um, that we could definitely do. Um, you know, it, it, for me, technology is, a. I mean, you know, I, I did a lot of technical things on the film. You can see the screens behind me and I mean, we're in our <laughs> studio here. But uh, yeah, so I mean, technology is always on my mind. I'm, I, I love technology. I love reading about it. I love seeing where it goes. But then there's also, you know, this great sort of um, is technology inherently good or, or, or bad? And I think people, you know, in the, it's in their the back of their mind. So uh, certainly, uh, I don't know if I I keep just making techno, you know, thrillers or horror films, but uh, tech thrillers. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's I, I would definitely return to technology in films for sure. Hmm. I mean, we we're definitely starting to see a. Uh, I mean, we've always had it, but like a more of a, a more low tech resurgence of. I know it sounds weird, low tech. We're using a cell phone, but not using as much. Like you know, it you know in the movie. Um, and I think that's what kind of really got me more because um, you guys have a scene at the end with with Whitney and she's she's dealing literally facing the the the, the you know, the trauma, the 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 issue at hand. Um, how were, I mean, I guess, how were you guys even able to pull that off like, with, with with like whatever? I guess what you were using. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, we, we, we go ahead, Whitney. 
No, I was actually going to say, I think that might be a better, a better question for, for Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, I think this movie had a lot of technical challenges and um, certainly, the, you know, uh, some of what you're mentioning is, is part of that, but um uh, yeah, we can't we can't really talk about it too much. Um, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but yeah, it, you know, it it definitely. I mean, um, we 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 waited. We 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 shot that stuff later, and um, you know, it, I I think the the movie has, uh, it it doesn't disappoint when it comes to where it takes you in the film, and uh, that's all I can really say. <laughs> So here's, here's my, I want to make sure it's right. Jared, right? I'm saying, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I got names right. Jared. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you, you, you were kind of, you were kind of that thing that's just winging in the background on everybody's mind in this film. You, you, you had to really bring something to the table to, to make, everybody feel for what Whitney was going through. Um, you know, most people in that situation, you know, they expect you to get over it within a certain time frame. Um, you know, you, you got, you know, less than a, you know, you know, they want you to be back on page and back to work, but you see here in this movie, she, she gets away to, you know, it feels responsible for what happens to you in the movie. Uh, how, <laughs> how much of that did you, I mean, I'm not sure like how many scenes got cut, but was there anything involving you that there was just a little bit more of that you guys showed a little bit more of your backstory? Um, no, I don't I don't think so. I just know that reading the script and what I got from the character Liam was he is her support. You know, he is from her past, something she feels guilty about, but he's also her strength and her support. So you see him he comes in during hard times and um, that's just what I really wanted to make sure I portrayed on camera, you know, um, was being Wynn's support system pretty much. And um, I think it really played out during the movie. And he's well. my support system in real life because oh. he's um, my fiance. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> In but I'll life, say they too. met. They, yeah. they met on the film, so they didn't know each other before, um, and then they met on the film, and then now they're getting married in real life. And the romantic in me is like, oh. if anything good comes from this movie, if it's bad, it's enough for me. So. <laughs> nice meet cute story, you know? How how you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good one. So yeah, with, with working with a project like this, like I said, this type of thriller movie is like when, when you're involved, when you're writing, when you, you know, and like I said, in, in this world, is there anything that actually scares you guys in real life anymore once you're involved in this project? Like, it's just like, you, it like just jump scares or anything like that, like that would even bother you at this point? I'm I'm always kind of scared. Oh, um, so I, I don't actually, <laughs> it's helped, um, uh, what's that called? Inoculate me or whatever. Um, I think that, I mean, on a more, on a deeper level, I do actually think there's things in life that are very scary that everybody has to face. Like everybody has their own fears and everybody's fears are so unique to them, um, but they matter. And like everybody's like fears need to be challenged and like you are fighting them every day. And so, you know, the idea behind cell phone is that what if your phone knows all of those fears because it's studying you all the time and it's using them against you? Um, how do you how do you fight back? What do you do? Um, and so I guess I mean, it's so dark, but like life itself is can bring about a lot of fears. So, yeah, I'm still jumpy, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I jump watching the trailer still. Like she really does. I really do. <laughs> I'm like, we've whenever, seen this a hundred times. Whenever Malcolm <laughs> McDowell pops up on the screen, I'm like, ow. <laughs> I'm just shocked I'm in a movie with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, I, I I walked into this blonde. I didn't watch trailer nothing. I, I usually my method. I didn't want anything spoiled for me. And I got to say, like I said, I, I I definitely was not disappointed. Um, with with what you got, but I do want to know: was it a conscious choice to keep the cast small, or was there other characters on the table that didn't that didn't make? Yeah, I mean, well, the the, the script pro the, the scripting process was uh, over a number of years, and we had you know other characters that um, eventually you know for whatever for different reasons they they ended up getting cut, 
And but but then some of the essence of that uh, the, those characters and their backstories got put into the film so that, you know, it's part of the process. And uh, I think, you know, the, the film was meant to be lean and mean uh, by design so that it could be achieved um, with the, you know, the, the crew and and the way this film was made. So um, but everything you see, all the shots, everything was absolutely mapped out. I mean, there's nothing on the cutting room floor. I mean, it's all there that we every shot was mapped out yeah it's not, i had a lot of ongoing questions in my head about like oh man they could have was there something here maybe there was a little bit more there so it's always, it's always an extra question um, well yeah cause we, we want you know i think i speak for both of us but like we want the audience to also be uh trying to figure it out wondering you know i like i personally like stories and movies that they make you try to solve it or figure it out or think about it in a different way so like I don't ever want to like hand feed the audience I, I'd rather them take what they want to take from it yeah it's more it's more you know it leaves you with questions it le it's open to interpretation those those are the most interesting films to me as well like you're you're not just told what is this you you have to think for yourself and and then the movie takes on its own life with the audience what are what are what are plans for any, any theatrical release like movies or are we doing blu-ray 4k how, how, how are we releasing this yeah well it's actually available for pre-order right now on apple tv um and it's on it's like beating most all of the independent films so it's like way up there on the pre-order page which is very exciting and then on february 13th it's going to be on demand on like amazon prime um voodoo google play all of the like spectrum everything so we're super excited for it's like big release on february 13th but it's available for pre-order now are you guys hitting all all the all the avenues we'll make sure everybody yeah. sees this yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, again man i can't get i can't get into any spoiler territory <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> there's so many questions i had written down i'm like oh can't talk about that now scratch um the man nope can't go into that one uh <laughs> like looking at my, my <laughs> questions here um yeah. i guess i mean just to kind of wrap it up here what's 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 next yeah well we have we're working on um a new script um that my the producer matt summer he's he's our dad rachel and my dad we're brother and sister um, he yeah. and my uh, the other producer jan <laughs> summer uh they wrote and it's a it's a thriller about um, a, a guy who uses uh, misdirection to have people kill each other. So he doesn't actually kill them, but he gets them to kill each other. And it's it's a cop uh, thriller uh, that yeah. we're hoping to shoot um, in you know in this year or, or next. Wow, that's I, oh man, that's, I'm already excited for it. Let me write that yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's called the blood of egrets. The blood of egrets. So, be on the lookout for that. All right. Well, look, I really appreciate you. I think you guys have hit every single question that I had about the movie. Uh, again, I can't talk any spoilers, but I I highly recommend this to everybody that has not seen this. Uh, we just heard where everything was available. Uh, Justin, Whitney, uh, you guys absolutely killed it in this movie. Uh, you know, being on screen, you know, playing off of each other. I think you did a really good job. Uh, you know, Justin, your character was a little too much. Uh, I think. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. If you have any notes, I'll send you my email. You can send me the notes. Uh, yeah, he's, he's way too much. I, I, way I, too I, much. I still see that playing out like a normal scenario. Like, hey, man, I asked you to not come in my house two times. Like, <laughs> right, right. Fighting after the first time. <laughs> truly, truly. Right. Truly, violence after the first time. Yeah. <laughs> but I just want to say to everybody involved, you, you guys did an amazing job. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, and I and I as soon as it comes out, I'm definitely gonna be buying this and showing it to my friends and family. So thank you so much uh for doing the interview. Yeah, that means a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Terrell. Appreciate it. Thank you I very love much. Those too, my man. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah.